Today's video is about Aqua APX100. Now, this film, uh, this company, in fact, it's a German band based known for making film and photographic papers. Established in 1867 in Berlin, so pretty old company. Um, I'm not sure, but I think it's older than Kodak, uh, given the age. Now, this particular film is actually a slow speed film and on top of that it's a low contrast film so it's pretty soft uh, when you take images with it now interesting about this particular one that the film is expired in 2007 i mean that's a pretty long time given the uh, today is uh, 2022 so if i have to count properly it's 15 years old um, in fact, it's expired 15 years ago. Uh, that's pretty <laughs> old, to be honest. Now, that's why it's quite scary and um, exciting at the same time to use that kind of expired film and see what it gives at the end. Uh, a story about this one is actually I donated a film camera to somebody via one of those websites and somebody uh, in return was nice enough to give me a couple of uh, expired rolls of film and this was one of it and um, interestingly enough that the given the character of aqua in general i was really interested to see exactly what it gives when i say what it gives is in fact is it really uh, useful is it gonna work um, and should I develop it uh, with the traditional method or should I uh, develop it with um, something extra which I mean like should I push it, should I pull it, should I expose at the box speed I had no idea and on top of that I'm not really an expert uh, this is probably my fifth or sixth film that I'm going to shoot and develop at home so I'm not there yet so as you can understand the stress behind um, using that film so I thought why not make a video on it um, I did use um, Xtol and I did develop in the end on box bit and as you can see I mean eventually you're going to see the contrast looks pretty nice and during the um, photo session time to time i did use red filter green filter and orange filter uh, sometime they worked sometime uh, i really messed up when i say messed up it was horrible when it comes to underexposed so you know it's a learning process in the end but you know as you learn as you use more you know at the end of the day you have to shoot more to learn so that's what happened to me now, given the fact that Akka is a very slow uh, contrast, low contrast film, um, it's kind of pretty awesome. So that uh, because now you have probably more more information in the shadow and the highlight area, and then obviously you can add contrast later if you want to. Um, if you are a purist, absolutely, you just leave it as it is. Uh, some people may like it some people are not and you are definitely you're not definitely taking photos for people you're taking photos for your own pleasure so I'm pretty sure that you should be happy with it anyway um, and there you go uh, some of the information and we are moving on to the slideshow of the images that I've taken in the end uh, let me know what you think
we are almost coming to the end of the slideshow so let me know what you think in the comment section below um, anything uh, any constructive uh, comments will be actually useful for me for my improvement in terms of the video quality and my photographic skill and any support are welcome go down in the description below and you will see what i'm talking about until then look after yourself and bye bye